trying to figure out what to push. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, not do. Uh oh, yep, push something wrong. That's for sure. Oh, please be careful to my poor tractor. Be careful. Oh, oh, it's all my fault. It's all my fault. Uh oh, you poor thing. Oh my goodness. I mean, are you ever gonna stop? Whew! It's still, it's still running. It's a deer. So, definitely do not switch the mode while you have it reeled out. That's a no-go. This is Stevio back on Autumn Oaks. Today we need to water our grass field. We need some good production on that hay off that field so we could feed our cattle. We plan on chopping that silage. So we ended up splurging a little and got a water gun. So we're going to go pick that up now. So we are headed to the shop, pick up our water gun, water gun reel. So I don't know if this is really old school. I know they had versions of it in the past, but this is definitely the small farm type irrigation system. So they use it a lot on, uh, especially for grass fields because uh, the irrigation system would cause uh, damage to the field, to the crops usually, so grass is easier to not cause damage, especially when it's uh, first cut. Take the old Ford down, pick up one of the items. That's our grass field we plan on uh, irrigating. Might take a while. I think we're going to have to do it the short way, but we will uh, try to figure it out. First time we're watering this field. So we'll hook up to the generator pump. I'm not for sure if this is just a, well, it is a generator and a pump. So we'll take that down to the field and approximately position where we need it. So we ended up getting a great deal on this old gas 730 John Deere. So I thought this would be a perfect piece of equipment or tractor to pull this sprayer around. A little slow, but it will make it down to the field sooner or later. Putt, putt, putt to the field.
I'm gonna back this up, hook this up here. I don't know if I have to make sure that is set correctly. Hooking up. So switch mode. There we go. That's what we wanted. So we'll pull this out. And hopefully we can get this thing a spraying. So don't know how far we got. I'm trying to do this great as possible. So in real life these things have, once you get down they have like an orange underneath or something marking it orange. So you can see from a great distance that you're about ready to hit the end of the reel. Doesn't appear we have that. I don't know if this tells us how far we're out. Okay, there we go. Got a little bit farther. Oh wow, this is just perfect for this field. So, that does not work. Takes you on a tractor spin. So unless you want to experience a nice ride, looks like we didn't reel it up very good either, so. We'll get this back over. Looks like this has a turn. There we go. Oh. See, this thing has so many options, it's hard to, uh, Trying to find out which one it is to extend the working with. There we go. That's more like it. So we're going to extend this all the way as far as we can. Okay, now we'll reel this thing out. Hopefully we can do it better this time. Unhook this tractor. Turn this sprayer on. Well, this is the way they used to do it. Olden days. On a sprinkler like this that was spring loaded or motor driven rewound a lot of hay farmers still use these type things well another fail I didn't realize that this field wasn't created so I have to create it first before I can water and fertilize it according to farm simulator physics so gonna have to do that first let's get to the chisels Get this thing up, creating a field. So it's unfortunate because now we're going to have to replant grass in there, but that's fine. We got plenty of uh, hay stock for a little while there. I would like to get good yield off that hay field, so take this chisel over and get it to work. I think the 4640 works just great with that on there. 
And we could properly water it. This thing to go in. We probably will end up purchasing another one of these chisels and we run two implements in this field. Just to speed up the process a little bit. So, boy, does this 4640 look good on this chisel. So, it's unfortunate we had to chisel up this grass, but because it wasn't already created as a field, Farming Simulator doesn't read it correctly so we'll get this chiseled up quickly with these two chisels running and plan it again man do I love that look of the 4640 run looks like the 4850 is running around just about to the shop. We'll go pick up our second chisel. Do like the animation these chisels give out. Pretty good. I call you up in the middle of the night. Been bothered by dreams, ain't feeling all right. You give me comfort, say just give it some time. By the end of our talk, I'm feeling just fine. So we're going around with two chisels now. We got the 4850 running. Making good time. Do like with these shaders the way it makes this uh, plow texture look. Definitely gives a new realism. Good old chisels. Definitely drove a chisel a lot in my day. They were really popular back in the 80s and 90s. And then conventional till kind of went away. Looks like that other uh, 48. 4640 is going down and it's going to start its up and down rolls now. Hopefully these two will not collide. You can put on convoy, combine convoy, which helps with uh, the collision on these. So it basically it won't go within 100 meters or 200 meters, whatever you set it at. So of the other implement which is nice I'm gonna have multiple implements running in this field got about 15 tons of lime on here we'll go on here this little massy is a very uh, convenient little tractor to have on the farm not for sure the year of this massy not for sure if it fits this old iron or not I know that front flat face of it is definitely not new school but appears like it has a little bit more plastic than some of the other uh, old iron tractors Making our way over here. Well, looks like that tractor is almost done with its first pass. So I was really hoping we could just fertilize that field, start it. Because we bought it grass, we're going to keep it grass because it's so convenient, but unfortunately we will not be able to do that. So maybe another day we'll be able to uh, water it. So 
start this Lyman tractor off definitely gonna have to keep a good supply of lime for it jump in to one of my favorite tractors the 4640 I want to deactivate turn on field there we go I think that allows the tractor to turn quickly and I don't like speed course play turns at there we go Looks like the lime machine is about at 30%, so definitely would be a white powdery face after riding around an open cab liming. I don't know how, never had to lime a field, so I don't know how sticky and dirty job that is. Have had to chisel an open cab before. Definitely get you dark faced. All the dirt, dust flying. And this 4640 sure looks good. Driving along. Narrow. Seems like it's a narrow front end. I'm not for sure on that. Take any time at all to freaking get this field done with two of these John Deere old iron tractors. Would like a, just a little bit more detail inside the cab of this 4640, but otherwise everything else is A-OK -okay in my book. Just a beautiful sight seeing all three of these tractors go in the field. Definitely beautiful. Definitely makes you want to keep playing this game. Hop back into the 
4640 here. It's finishing its last round or so. Doesn't take long for these tractors to turn around, that's for sure. Love the tractor tent. Definitely gives it a more unique used look. Many days I was in the tractor trying to see the planting roll marker path while you're going into the sun and it's almost impossible. Well everyone, we'll cut it off here. I've been having a great time making videos for you all. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Hot on the mokes.